Hello, hello, Chris Richter back again. We're going to look at a, a bit of an interesting situation, and this is one that I wanted to set up on one of my servers as well, which is restricting access so that students can't see other students. Why would you want to do this? You may have this sort of like a autonomous course, I guess, where students don't need to actually see each other. You might be selling your courses as individual courses to people on your platform, and they don't need to communicate with each other. In fact, if you look at things like Udemy, uh, Skillshare, a lot of that, the students can't actually see each other, but they can see responses and comments from other people, but they don't actually, they can't, you know, directly communicate with each other. And how do we set that up in Moodle so that it can work in a similar way? Well, I'm going to get started on that and we're going to see how far we get and see if we can be successful at this because it's something I haven't tried before. Step by step, we'll go through now. The first thing we need to do is make sure that students can't see other students because at the moment they can. We need to go into site administration, go into users and then go into permissions. And what we're looking for is defining roles. In our roles, you'll see that we have a student role. Let's go into the student role and see what the permissions and settings are that we have with a student role. Down here, the probably the very first one that I'll look at is view details. At the moment, users are allowed to view other users' profiles. So let's save changes. That's our first little component. And we're going to test each one of these as we go. So I'm going to jump in and set up two users, put them in a course, and we're going to see what they can and can't see. Here we go. So I have a course called Example Course. I've changed that setting. I've now got two students enrolled in this course. The students are student, student five, and then myself. At this stage, that's all quite cool. But let's jump into our students and see if they can see each other from that one setting change. They can still see the participants list. And if they go into that, they can still see participants. So we need to remove the participants list access view so they can't see the participants. Let's go a bit further then. Okay, so we're back in our permissions to find roles for a student. If I scroll down a bit and we're going to say uh, participants and we have view participants in course view. So let's remove that and save that one. So that's another one for our students. There we go, permission. So we've removed that access. Let's jump back to our student, reload the page. There we go. So the participants button is now gone. That is a bonus. All right, now I'm going to guess that if we go over to our chat, student five, so they can actually communicate by their communication there. And again, that's the thing that we wanted to try and disable. Can we turn messaging off for students? Let's go have a look. So we're going to go into site admin, I'm just going to search messaging because it is messaging that it's actually called in Moodle. If enabled users can send messages to other users on the site, let's turn that off just there. All right, jump back to our student, reload. All right, messaging is now gone. So, so far that's, that's pretty good. All right, if we go to grades now and we look at our grades, we only see our own grade as a student. That's all we can see. So far that's looking pretty good. So we've turned off messaging, we've disabled the students being able to see uh, any other students. And that's pretty good. Now, one thing I did want to check though, and that is if we have an activity, for example, a forum. Let's just scroll down. I have a forum down here. Here we go, test forum. I'm going to go into that forum and add a discussion. we we'll just call it topic one. Some notes in here. And we post that to the forum. That was posted successfully by a student just there. If I jump to our other student, and go down to our forum, go to the test forum. You can see now that a forum does allow students to communicate in that sense of it being a forum. So the only solution I've got here for you is that obviously a forum is for the students who are supposed to be communicating and discussing things. So that's when you do want them to discuss things. So if your course is designed specifically that students are autonomous, they just do their own thing, obviously you wouldn't put a forum in there. And that's why forums still allow that, even though I've disabled you know, the main other key parts. So that's all I had to do. That's the, the main part of being able to restrict access so students can't see other students. Don't know that they're there. Obviously, if you put in a forum then and use it, students are going to start to meet each other and get to know, uh, be able to discuss things in the forum or any other component that offers a shared experience between students. That's what I wanted to do with my platform so far, which is really good. I now have that set up so that students cannot see each other. So when I sell them a course, they can do their own course. I can still communicate with them, obviously, via my own email um, or, or by directly you know, contacting students. 
because I have their contact details, but otherwise students then can't contact each other. And that's as simple as that. Now, if I've missed anything, please let me know because I can add that in as well. And hopefully that will help other people who are trying to work out how to restrict the viewing of students or students being able to see what other students are doing in their courses.